So I got a new hunting truck. Got some bumpers to add to it. And I'm gonna try roof rack. I've never did a roof rack before. So I did a bunch of homework and I come up with, I'm gonna put on a RCI roof rack. Here's all the parts and pieces. I can't find anything on YouTube on how to do it and the instructions aren't the best in the world. So uh, see if I can get this thing put together. I got all done. Just make sure you watch the video all the way through. I made one error. Before you start, it was just a washer was on the wrong side. Other than that, it will come out really nice. So I've laid everything out. So I got the, the feet in there. These are the bars that go down, mount to the cab. These are the rails. That's the stripping for the front clip. And I took and I put uh, all the individual washers and bolts in different bins so I know exactly I got all my stuff and counted them and then I'm gonna use an impact and I'll do the final touch with hand because I don't want to break off the bolts so far I was using a half half inch and a 530 seconds one of these little buggers so start bolting stuff together and see what we can get so it says to start with the first one And I am a fanatic with Loctite. The dirt roads we run around in Nevada shakes everything to death. Boy, those boys are really tight. Gonna keep repeating the process. So I figured out there's a T slot. The T slots have to go up, so you can put in your your mounting brackets, and you can slide them back and forth if you want accessories. It looks like. So let's see if we can do this. So it says to put the front and rear one in first. So this is where it probably would be easier if you're on the ground. If I can't do this too easily, I'll just give you the idea. Then I'll. That's not too bad. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Then take another washer. The other side. And I'm going to put it in the opposite side of the one I did over there so it will pull it flat so it won't just flop down on me. I'm just gonna leave them. I'm not gonna tighten them up. It says to leave them loose so that when you can do your final adjustment when you get it in place, you tighten them all down. I'm sure it's not square and all that other stuff. That's it. Just put the bolts in them. I'll do this one, then I'll turn it off and 
I'll knock the rest of them out real quick. But I could see this being very careful because if you break one of these off, they're tapped into the bar. So you would probably, you'd probably be trouble if you broke one off in there. So I'm gonna not use my air tools and stuff and use all hand tools on this because I do not want to break one off in there. So what I'm gonna do is gonna be more work than most people wouldn't have to do. So when I get up there and get in place, I'm gonna go ahead and pull each one out lock tight and send it back in so I don't have to worry about it coming loose. But for now, I'm just gonna put them all on and it'll make way more work for me, but at least then I know it won't vibrate loose. So as I was doing this, I figured out there are some more washers, so when you do it, you gotta be careful because they're the same size, just a hair bigger. These ones are with a bigger hole in the middle. So these ones are for the, the littler hold center ones or for the rails. And uh, just luckily I hadn't put any in yet, just by pure luck. So that's the only thing I see. The one thing I do like, they have these notches along here. And it helps you line up your rails. It's really handy. I have to measure. I really like that. Save some time. But that's handy for for lining these up. So you might be able to tighten them up more once you before you put them on there. I have to figure that out part when I get to it because it's making everything pretty square with all these marks I can use to line it up with. So what I'm doing is I'm lining them up for me. The center mark here. So I got my slide can go both ways is what I'm doing. And then my sunroof, I got to figure out because the sunroof will be over here. It doesn't say much about the sunroof and the instructions. So this one here, I'll install and put it all the way back. And then I can, I can change it once I get it on the truck for the sunroof. What do I do with my screwdriver? And just for my personal, I just put the slot on that side, slot on this side, slot on this side, and slot on that side. Doesn't matter, doesn't really mean anything. That's just what I did. Let me line this one up. With that mark, that like I said, those marks are extremely handy for lining this stuff up. Like I said, I'm not torquing them down, I'm just putting them in for now. Okay, got one more to throw in and we'll work on the back and the front. Yep, I made one mistake so far. So I found out the bigger washers I was talking about, they go under here at the very start. So hopefully if anybody's doing this, they watch the whole video before they started. So that's the that's what those washers are for. So I'm gonna go ahead and buzz all these off and put those washers on and buzz it back together. So trial and error. So now we're gonna put on the back piece. Might be, you know, if you had a second person, be handy on some of this, but it's not, you can do it by yourself. It's not the end of the world. flat washer on and a neck on this side keep it so it won't fall try to get that 
lineup go. So then they all come down here, maybe I get a little better angle. See. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course I have to lock that up top. So we go washer. And then this one you probably can't see because it's in the face of the sun on the side of the shop. Everything's fitting so tight together, lined up wise. It's pretty cool because even when you get those in there for you tighten them up, there's literally almost no play in those, which is nice. Have to worry about lining a bunch of stuff up. You know, you just put that on the inside, hold it. And I'm sure you can break these, so don't. I'm famous for breaking these. Anything easy, like a bull in a china closet. Always oh, just gotta be a little bit tighter, and then pop breaks. Ugh. I could break these very easily, it feels like, and I don't want to have to have an odd colored bolt in this thing, so I'm trying really hard not to break it. Then we come around to the front. Now it says you want the front installed as far down as you can get it. It's supposed to come close in contact with the cab, or close as you can get it to the cab, it sounds like, from the instructions. So, to make my life easier, I'm just gonna do all these right now. to look at the instructions and see what's going on okay so we're gonna install the front so it says it wouldn't fit this way and this way so I had to do a little looking on the instructions you gotta flex it so I'm pushing in on both ends and making the middle bow to my chest so I can get it flexed in there to the to the inside up and yeah, don't forget a washer so then this goes as far down as you can get it it says so that's as far down as she's gonna go nice thing about it with that being that flex in it it helps hold it in place if you're by yourself but I'm still gonna put one on both sides just so I don't drop and mess up the, the powder coating that would be my luck And I always go opposite, like I got one in here and one in here. That way it doesn't want to, if you put both of them here, it might flop both ways. So I always go cattywampus, I guess you could call it. Hillbilly talk. And then we take this and put it in here. Put that in there. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. It says as far down as you can get it. So once I put it in, if I tighten it up, I'm going to knock it down like that. Okay. 
I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna hit it down. I'm gonna hit it down. And I'm gonna tighten this one first. Too tight, come on, come off. <laughs> Never happens. Only this is weird shit happens when you're filming. Yeah. Let me get this one. <clears throat> okay. I think that's pretty much it. I gotta install this piece on it and I'm gonna put some black silicone on there when I do that it doesn't say to do that but this makes me feel better that it's gonna stay on there and not come off and then I'll get back once I figure out how to tear the top of the truck apart I test fitted this it's really tight I don't think you'd have to do the step I'm gonna do but this stuff is like super glue so I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of this on there just for my own well-being not a ton of it, just a little bit, just to help hold it in place. Like I said, this is something you don't have to do, but just living in Nevada where it's 115 in the summer and zero in the winter in some places in, in the highest year, in a high desert, I do a lot of stuff you don't have to do, but I don't like to do stuff twice. I, don't, I build one of these trucks every, every seven years. That's it. That's gonna keep coming, of course. A little bit there. Then I'm gonna take this off. I don't get on my on my rubber. Uh, let's see. So. Which is the natural way it wants to lay. So that seems to be the natural way it wants to lay. Like I said, this isn't a this isn't a street princess. This thing gets used. So I'd rather have tough than I mean don't wrong I want it to look right, look nice and stuff. But usability is what I'm after. I don't care if it looks stupid if it works. That's my main goal. So now I'm gonna take and push at it really hard. Across there. So it all looks even. A little over there, a little there. So, I think that's good. I think I'll just trim that off. I don't think. I think we'll be fine. Maybe I'll move it over a little bit before this stuff sets. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think that'll do. I might trim this once I put it on the truck to see. I'll, I'll trim that off most likely. Pretty good. All right, next step is tearing in the roof of the truck. So I installed tape so I can transfer my marks from my blocks. So the two hole goes in the front, three hole goes in the back, middle and the back. So that I'm just gonna take and line it up. Just gonna put one in there so it'll hold it in place and just kind of eyeball it. These ones here, I'll put one in each. that and then this one here put one in each okay so then I'll take 
I'll mark my hole. Then I'll take this and I'll mark the ends of it. So you want to make sure they're kind of centered. Mark the ends. Take these back out. And we'll lay this back in. Come on. There it goes. Snap it back in place. Okay. And we'll transfer. There's our ends. There's our holes. And holes, bunch, ends. Good boy. I just make sure you didn't run out in the road, buddy. Okay, and then we got our marks transferred over. So now we'll go cut this. Figure out what we're gonna do. It doesn't really explain a lot on cutting it all the way down. You know, like cutting these out completely where these will sit down in there, all the way to the metal. So I'm gonna have to figure that one out as I go. Played around with a few different ideas. This isn't very easy part of the, for the project I'm seeing. So we got our piece with our lines on it. So this is the best way I can figure. Take this, line it up with your holes. That's the wrong one. So let's take this one, line it up with your holes. Then take and cut it. There's a piece of metal in here. So you gotta cut over it. Like that. You want the sharp side. Bend a little bit so you can get into that metal. <clears throat> there we go. Bend a little bit. in the middle we're gonna take this knife we're gonna fold it and be careful you don't cut yourself because I got thinking if you cut the whole thing out then I think this this is gonna help hold this down even though you're gonna silicone it I think with this little strip of rubber I think it'll help hold this down so that it doesn't flop around if it should come unstuck. Because you can put the block on this and tighten it down. I think it'll just pinch it down in there. Okay. Like that. I'm going to lay it down. We'll make it as smooth as we can. So there's no bumps here. This piece ain't rocking back and forth. So just cut it like this. Make her smooth. And so this part ain't gonna be pretty, but I think if you use that black silicone, you can fill in around it and make it look decent. But I'm afraid if you cut this whole piece off, you just had that would just flip up and fall out. It doesn't say it says just cut it out. So I played with a few ideas with the with the passenger side, and this is what I came up with. Just keep whittling at it. So you get smooth enough, makes you happy, so it doesn't rock. Like that. So then just lay it on there. Then you squish that down, then that will help hold this down, I think. 
that's the way I'm going with it anyways. So then you just repeat that step here. Oh, then we're gonna drill it. So, for, so we take this, set this here. Take your piece of this here. Look at that piece right there. Is that the one I cut out? No, this is the one I cut out. So you lay that piece right there. Gives you a rough idea. Line your holes up. And drill it out. And then we'll do that again, then we'll test fit it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test fit it. Before we go through all the trouble getting the rack up there and all that. Just gonna throw this in here. Get that where it goes, get everything where it goes. Okay. Put these two on. Make sure we don't do that. We just gotta put this in there. Where that one started. That one started. That one's there. That one's good. So that way you know when you know they're, they're gonna fit once you get all your stuff up there. So now we're gonna cock it in place. Just be careful to get this on your truck. Oh, that's a big, way too big a gob. I don't want water out here. I don't want to leak in the cab. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Get all my paint. Okay, holes are all lined up. Then just get some paper towel and clean up the, the stuff you got extra on there. And start putting it together. So I had to have my boy help me get this up here. It's gonna be a two-man job if you don't want to scratch your truck. So then I'm just gonna lock tight these. I'm gonna run them down with my impact, but I am not gonna tighten them with my impact. I'm just gonna run it down until it gets close. Cause see how small these are? I mean that's the size. And everything else was standard, but this is metric. So we'll just get them in here, get them started. And I'll get them started all the way around in each one. And then I'm gonna run them down with the impact. Right, once I get them started, I'll dump them all down at the impact and be done. So I had to use a guess, a lineup tool. So I run this down the lineup. The other one, I was having trouble finding the exact spot. So I'm just going to get them all started, and then I'll come back and tighten them all down. But it just seems real handy to take this, stick it in there, line your holes up, and then you just put your bolt in. Saves you a lot of time instead of trying to hunt them up. 
So I got, I kept them all loose. I had to rack it a few times by hitting it real hard to get it all to, to line up. I had to move this back a little bit so I could get to these bolts. And then I had to move this forward because I was touch hitting on that. So that's the only parts that I've seen if been. Now it's just a matter of going around and tighten them up and then adjusting them to where the sunroof will work and where I need them for my stuff. And that's it, it's actually pretty easy. It took longer to help them trying to film it and everything than it did to do it. So, but now all I gotta do is just tighten stuff up and uh, be done with it. No, well, I got it all done. It wasn't too bad. I really like the way the lines all looks on the truck, though. Everything lined up pretty nice. Well, actually, really nice. It's got plenty of room. So, if you flex, I've seen some of these where they flex They're right up in here. That metal will really close where it'll touch the cab. But there's nothing, everything looks with plenty of room. So I'm happy with it. Now I just gotta go up and adjust all those up there to where I want them at. But that'll take me time later. So I can get my other racks. And I got this big bumper I gotta put on. And I got another bumper ordered for the back and some rock sliders. But I'm happy with it. Everything looks good. I'm gonna trim this off right here. Other than that. I like it all right thanks hopefully this helps somebody else because it's pretty easy